Hi everyone. Hi Bajir, how are you? Hey Jack, how's it going? It's going fine. I've just got a really interesting uh, opening lead problem here, which was sent in to me by someone very close to my heart, and that's, uh, well, I think a lot of the viewers will know her, it's Jack's mum. Oh, she is well loved by your students. <laughs> so I thought what we'd do is just bid this hand, um, you know, you, you and I have a go through it, and then we'll get, then obviously we'll look at the opening lead. So East is going to open one heart, so I'll just do that. There we go. And over to you, Bashir. What would you do with the south hand, apart from panic? Ah, well, even before I get to the panic stage, I'm just happy with uh, such a nice hand. Um, 15 points, yeah, nice hand. 15 high card points, that a nice singleton. Uh, of course, a couple points wasted there. Uh, but yeah, counting up my points, 15 high card points. Jack, am I too strong to just bid my five card diamond suit? You're never too strong to to bid a, uh, you know to overcall the diamond suit, but the problem is it's the suit quality that I'm worried about. Um, mm. Really, it's far more important to have a five card suit to overcall, but with at least three honors if you're overcalling oh. at the two level. Yeah, that's a pretty excuse my French, but it's a pretty manky suit you've got there. Your diamond. <laughs> uh, Careful, Jack. We might have to beat that out. They're going to censor us. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, you know, really, a lot of experienced players to overcall at the two level. They really like a six, a good six card suit. So despite the points, two diamonds, no, wouldn't be in my choice. Can you think of another bid you might make? Well, the, the other option I can think of is um, East Open, the one suit we wouldn't want to play in for sure. So can we double and leave it up to partner? It's the bid that so many bridge players forget. You're correct. There it is. I'm just going to hold it up, give it a bit of use. It's the takeout double. This is a nice clean one. You see, it must be one of my students. Mine's dog-eared. <laughs> so I'm going to make a takeout double. It's perfect, isn't it? Remember, we teach SOS. We've just done a whole course on doubles as a promotion. Mm -hmm. um, let me just find the double thing. There we go. One heart. Uh, ah, sorry. This is, uh, I'm sitting here, so I get to uh, press that button. Okay, so we're doubling. And Jack, am I right? That's that's basically just telling partner, um, Pick a different suit. What's the test yes. partner about strength? Yeah, well, you know I like to teach SOS. So we're short in hearts, a doubleton or singleton. And we've got an opening hand, so we must have at least 12 points to make a double. And we've got support for the other three suits, at least three cards. in. So, yes, we're effectively saying, partner, please bid your longest suit. And that we have an opening hand. Correct, yeah. Now, West is going to... Uh, you can't see the other three hands, which is good. Uh, West is going to redouble. How about that? Now, All right, let's see. Are, uh, can you, uh, I, I believe uh, you can actually place that bid as West. Am I right? If I've got the redouble here. That's there it. There it is. So, uh, Jack, tell us, what, what does that mean? A redouble so early in the auction? Well, we haven't covered this yet. It's a more advanced bid. But what it means is that... Um, means that West has got 10 or more high card points and they're interested in doubling the final contract for North and South. It's basically saying we've got the balance of the points and it may well be that we can double North and South in their contract and collect a large penalty. So it's effectively 10 plus points, but it won't have a fit in hearts. You know, so it's a hand that doesn't fit with hearts. So you won't have four card hearts full, but you would have at least 10 or more high card points. And I imagine this redouble bit uh, will be new to a lot of people watching. It's not a bid you use very often. Right. So this is, and so the different meaning compared to redoubling a, a penalty double. Yes. This is telling, West is telling East 10 high card points and we'd be happy to defend this hand. Correct. We'd be happy to defend at their contracts, hopefully doubled. Yeah. So it's this, really- This, this is this is where as South, I start sweating. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't like that. No, 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 it can get pretty, me pretty messy. Mm. Uh, well, North is going mm. to bid one spade. They don't now, have to bid now. Yeah, go on. I, well, yeah, I was going to ask, after West redoubled, does North have to bid? No, they don't. No, this is a free bid. So they're helping South out a bit here. So typically they'll have at least four spades, maybe five. They may not have any points, but they're really just saying they've got a spade suit and they're helping South out because obviously they prefer to stay at the one level rather than the two level, especially if they might end up being doubled. Right, and we already know they must be about as weak as they come. If uh, East Open, we have oh, yeah. a great hand, and West has 10, 10 high card points. That's good thinking, Bajir. Yes, there aren't many, there can't be many points left in this pack. So I think- Unless they had some up their sleeve. Yeah. 
Um, east is going to rebid two hearts. Now, what this means after redouble is that East has got a distributionally weak hand. They're not really interested in doubling north south in their suit. That is I what see. East bids do. So <laughs> they'll definitely have at least six hearts here, Bajir, and a weakish distributional hand. And they're saying mm. to West, okay, West, you've got lots of points, 10 plus. But no, I've got a very weak hand. I just want to play in two hearts. Mm. Um, so that's that. South, I think the bidding uh, is over. Uh, Bajir, I think, can you help me out with the bidding? Yes, you can come to me. At this point, do I just pass? I have to say I'm <laughs> South kind of relieved to pass, defend yeah. here. That's right. South passes. They've done their bit. Over to me. Well, West is going to bid three hearts. Inviting game. Yep. Showing two or three cards in hearts. Pass from north. They're, they're well out of it. North-south. And east. Well, does east bid to game? You can't see their hand, but they've got six losing tricks. So, mm. you know, seven losing tricks is an opening hand. Six losing tricks is one better. So we can yeah. south bids. Uh, sorry, east bids four hearts. And that's the end of the auction. Okay. Okay. And here, uh, you're right. So pass, pass, pass. We're just pass, pass. Right. But this is all about the opening lead. I mean, the bidding was very interesting in this hand. But the it opening was. lead is fascinating. What mm. lead are you going to make against four hearts, do you think? Oh, goodness, Jack. And I'm thinking um, this auction is loaded with clues. But um, what are we going to do? You know... There's one thing that I've heard you uh, teach us again and again in lessons, which is not to lead away from an ace in suit contracts. You are entirely right. It's the forefront of my leading. Whenever I lead against a trump contract, never lead away from an ace. So that means it's quite a complicated expression for those who are new to it. But it means don't lead a suit headed by just an ace. Of course, if you've got the ace king, then yes, lead the ace every day of the week, mm. uh, even Sunday. Um, but no, so the worst leads, Bajir, you can make here would be the seven of spades or the two of diamonds or the seven of diamonds. That's what's known as leading away from an ace. Right. And specifically against a suit contract. If we were playing no trumps this hand, we might but want to set no up Trump our diamond suit. Diamond. Yeah, mm -hmm. lead the seven of diamonds or even the ten of diamonds from a sequence. Yeah. Now, that's fine against no trumps, but it's the card sin against trump contract. Right. Um, so, so, it, so we want to hold on to those aces to try to eat up one of the kings or even well, queens. Yeah, and also, if you lead the seven of spades or the two of diamonds, you might find that declare it or dummy has a singleton king, and then you will never make your ace. Especially so, after all the clues that East has left us. And the big clue here, I think you were onto it earlier, is that North, your partner, won't have any points. Some players out there might be tempted to lead the ace of spades because it's partner's suit, isn't it? Right. Yeah, that, that's right. But... North has bid one spade. They're not guaranteeing the king of spades at all. And that, mm. so that the ace of spades would be a very dangerous lead. If Declare has got the king of spades, if you lead the ace, you're just setting up Declare as king. We would love spades to be led towards us. Correct. But only if we ha keep the ace in our hand. Correct. So for that reason, North has really been forced to bid one spade. You know, mm. they may probably have, we know they haven't got many points. <clears throat> mm. um, well, we okay, so that's... Points. Sorry, yeah. go ahead. So we get, and this is how I do my opening leads. I do them by process of elimination. So spades and diamonds are out. So would you lead a club, do you think? Would you be tempted to lead a club? Gosh, Jack, you know, I, I, I'm looking at these options and I don't like either of them. <laughs> I, I, I definitely don't want, if I lead a club, Again, I, I want the clubs to be led towards me. Correct. So the expression is never lead away from an ace in a Trump contract, but try very hard <laughs> not to lead away from a king either. Even it's on a Sunday? Sunday? You know, Declare might have the ace queen. Declare might have the ace and dummy might have the queen. It mm. often gives the trick away. There's a chap called Tony Forrester. He's England's most capped player. He mm. hates leading away from a king. He almost never does it. You know, <laughs> it's an, you know. It's it's a really dangerous lead. So oh, I'm really, really glad I didn't propose that. Mm. Um, now they do say not to lead a singleton trump. Okay. Um, normally that's a really bad lead, but on this horrible hand to lead from, believe it or not, the best lead is the singleton queen of trumps. Mm. How about that? Yeah. And is it is it just because it's the least bad of four bad options? 
You said it in one. Entirely right. And also, we know that North has almost got no points whatsoever. We're not going to find them with the Ace of Clubs or the Queen of Clubs or the King of Spades, no. And the Queen of Hearts is a pretty dead card. You know, they've got an eight or nine card fit between them. It's going to die anyway. Right. And if the Clara takes any finesses, they're going to finesse us for the Queen of Hearts anyway. So right. in my mind, it's the lead that gives least away. I mean, normally mm. I would never lead a singleton trump, you know. Mm. But here, mm. this is the best bet. Mm. Uh, the Queen of Hearts it is. Shall I just find it? Where is it down here? Yeah. And should we now look at all four hands? Okay, yes, please. Let me just do that because that's we're not going to play this one out. Uh, okay. There we go. Table options. I'm just trying to give me a second whilst I find out what we're doing. Uh, teaching options. There we go. And show all four hands. Here we are. And look at that. Look at uh, East hand. Look at that heart too. There we go. Yeah, it's um, there you see the Queen of Hearts is the safest lead. It gives nothing away on this hand, does it? Mm. And North has three little hearts. Um, and can we just look at what what would have happened had we led something else? If you'd have led the Seven of Spades, the King of Spades would have won. You're giving away a trick. Right. The same if you lead the Ace of Spades. You know, the King would have made a trick and, and the contract becomes very easy. Leading a small diamond away from the Ace, it goes round to the King with De Clara as East, and then they can play a low diamond towards the queen. They'll make right. both the queen and the queen. They'll make two tricks. In the sets, yeah, we're trading one for two. Correct. And with mm. the club as well, if you led the four of clubs, second player plays low, jack of clubs from north, De Clara wins cheaply with the queen. And again, they make two tricks in the suit. You never, ever make the king of clubs there. So mm. really, if, if you hang on to those honours, you will almost, you'll definitely make a club trick. You'll make you know, Declare will only make one diamond trick. Declare won't right. make any spade tricks. This contract will be very hard to make uh, now you've led the singleton queen of hearts. If you'd have led anything else, 10 mm. tricks would be very easy. I imagine a lot of people now would go down in four hearts. Uh, mm. I think it is makeable just, but you have to play it really, really well. Oh, wow. It will have become so clear. Looking at East hand and looking at our hand, we want to hold on to those two aces in that king at all costs. Correct. And, and hmm. I think this hand explains it. Looking at all four hands now, Bajir, you can yeah. see how dangerous those leads are. You know, I think this is why it's such a brilliant hand that Jack's mum sent in. Because ah. it shows you what never lead away from an ace. Try not to lead away from a king. And we're listening to the bidding as well. You know, North won't have any points. Look at them, they've only got two points. Right. Um, and also means you don't often, even if partners bid one spade here, you don't often, um, you know, doesn't mean you should lead an ace, even though partners bid the suit, because often the Clara or dummy will have the king. So, Jack, I often ask you, um, what's the point we should take away from this hand? It's very clear. There's two points, actually, in the bidding, being new for some people there. If it goes, say, one spade, double, redouble, that's 10 plus points. Mm, yeah, right, that redouble is very interesting. So that's really interesting. I've been new for quite a lot watching. More information on the internet. I haven't done a lesson on that at the moment. And the other thing to take away, of course, is just really important. Never lead away from an ace in a Trump contract. And also try very hard not to lead from a king either. You know, lead from three cards, lead a doubleton, lead a Trump. And here, singleton Trump is normally a lead you never make. But it's just the, you know, this was out of desperation. And it turned out to be by far the safest lead. So, um, yes, certainly if you want any more... Uh, any more information, everyone? I'm teaching intermediates on Mondays um, and beginners, improvers on Wednesdays. So uh, this is a little taste of what we do. Well, thank you, Jack. And uh, uh, thank you, Jack's mom, for uh, sending in this fantastic <laughs> hand. Uh, for er anyone watching, I'll embed the hand in the blog post so you could try playing through from all four seats. See if um, East West can uh, make that contract or if sitting south um if there's anything you can do to bring them down you have a great idea jack thanks so much until next time yeah keep your eyes open guys any interesting hands send them send them our way thanks a lot everyone bye